Hi there. What a beautiful day it is today. So I decided to take the practice outside. Um, you might hear some distracting noises from my community, although there are not many people out here. This is my backyard and it's a beautiful oasis to be able to come to practice yoga and to hang out. So I noticed last night that I was running a lot of, um, a lot of grief and I really felt like it was a collective grief that I needed to hold space to release. And I'm just checking in and wondering how you guys are all doing. And for those of you that are empaths, those of you that have been influenced and impacted rather by this um, COVID-19, those of you who are first responders and having to go to work, nurses, doctors, people that work in grocery stores, like all of you working out there, um, having to go out of isolation so that we can remain in isolation. First of all, my gratitude, thank you so much. And I wanna check in and see how you're doing. And I would love if you would leave a comment. I'm going to post this on Facebook and you can leave a comment on the Facebook page and let me know how you're doing or on this YouTube page. On Friday, Good Friday, I'm going to host a class. Um, I think I'm gonna do it at 11.30, but I'll confirm that in the next day or two. And this will be a class that I would love to do as a global acknowledgement for everything, um, for everyone that's going through, that's impacted by this, that we can hold space um, to do a healing meditation together, to say a prayer together, to practice and flow and move together and let the tension move out of our bodies. So yoga is such a beautiful practice to allow tension to soften and release from your body. It's just one of the ways to discharge the tension. Um, there is no doubt that this is a collective trauma that we're going through. And trauma is any time that your nervous system, any time that your nervous system is overwhelmed. So I want to give space on Friday for people to be able to get on a call together. It's gonna to be a live Facebook practice and meditation to be able to get on together and to feel this collective community that I know that I've been longing um, to feel. So this practice today, um, I'll encourage you to stay with your breath, to move your body with your breath. I don't, I'm not putting on any music. I would love the sound of nature to be able to be the harmony for this practice and I'll be focusing on what we call inner spiral which is basically taking your thigh bones back and so this is a practice to really help to reinforce that for those YTT students that are looking for some extra support what does that mean please take this practice and um, make it one of your regular practices so that you can really start to embody this understanding and knowledge the reason that we do the thighs back is so that we can create health in our back and it gets balanced by drawing the tailbone into the body. So thighs back, tailbone in helps to create a really nice healing opportunity for your back, for your pelvis area. And so it becomes a really normal or really important cue in our yoga practice. So today I'm gonna to really focus on that so you get to embody and understand what that means. So I'll invite you now to close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, take a moment and remove the flesh from the back of your hips, whether you're sitting on a block or on the ground, remove the flesh from the back of your hips. And that's creating a little curve in your back. That's what we call inner spiral. Lift your shoulders up and back. Tone your belly slightly and place your hands at your heart center. And begin to feel your breath. As you inhale, notice how your body is experiencing itself today. And what is it like to inhabit your body right now? What are you experiencing? What are the sensations that are present for you? And there's no need to bypass whatever you're experiencing. It's not about just wanting to turn to the light and feel good. But to be fully embodied, we need to embrace the light with the darkness. We need to feel our shadows collectively, the collective shadow of the globe. So it's okay if you're feeling tension or tight or uneasy or fear, anger. We need to feel everything to acknowledge our wholeness, our completeness, pranatva. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. And as you breathe in, just 
just notice what begins to soften. You don't have to have an intention to release tension. Allow your intention to be present to your body and to embrace and welcome all of it. And the research shows that when you can focus on a sensation in 90 seconds, it can begin to transform. And the danger happens when we don't acknowledge the sensations that are uncomfortable. When we don't acknowledge them, they get pushed down. We call those shadows. Please find a few more breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. release your hands and come to stand at the top of your mat and I'm just going to check in with my video to make sure I have the view that I'm wanting to experience for you today. I believe you'll see all of me. As you come to the top of your mat in Tadasana, mountain pose, anchor your feet beneath your hips and thighs back means that you take your thigh bones, which often we push forward, which creates a lot of tightness in the psoas, hip flexor and in the low back and instead draw your thigh bones back. Now this may not be a comfortable place to stay, so you need to balance it by drawing your tailbone into your body. So thighs back, tailbone in. Maintain that, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers to your shin bones. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, extend your arms to the sky. Exhale your hands to your heart and alongside your waist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, keep your thigh bones back, stretch your arms up, pull your low belly in. That will help to lengthen your tailbone into your body. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, as you fold, plant your hands and step back into a downward dog. Now keep your knees really generously bent and imagine that you're blossoming the base of your pelvis behind you. Take a full breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Pull your low belly in. This is the outer spiral component, but we're focusing more on inner spiral thighs back. And then inhale forward into a high plank position. Now thighs back means that your thighs are not sinking to the earth, which is just gonna create tension in your low back. Instead, lift your inner upper thighs, but not higher than your hips. Breathe in and out. Pull your low belly in, one more breath. Exhale with bent knees into downward dog. Blossom your buttocks back behind you so you're broadening through the base of your pelvis. Inhale, come forward into high plank. Inner thighs lift, squeeze your fingers into your mat. Engage your low belly. Exhale, back into dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up, lift from the inner lining of your leg and just stretch your leg out from your hips. You don't have to go super high. Flex your toes towards your face, breathe in. And then exhale into a high plank. Keep your inner right thigh extended up and then lift your left thigh a little bit higher so you're in line with your hips. Inhale, reach your leg straight back. Exhale, three-legged plank. Inhale, reach back. And now exhale, step your foot between your hands. Keep your back inner thigh lifted to the sky. So rather than sinking your knee down, firm up your knee. And you're welcome to find blocks and place them underneath your shoulders. Breathe in and out. Inhale, extend your arms alongside you. Interlace your hands between your body. Squeeze your shoulders, lengthen your arms away from you and your knuckles down as your torso lifts up. Keep your back inner thigh strong, inhale. And exhale, heart is opening, shoulders contained. Inhale, one more breath and exhale. Inhale, return your hands to your blocks. Float your blocks to the top of your mat. Fingers are light onto your blocks and extend your left leg up. 
Left leg is lifting from the inner lining of your thigh straight up to the sky. Breathe in and out. One more breath. Exhale your left foot alongside your right foot and fold forward. Ensure your feet are forming number 11s. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, soften your knees, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale your hands to your heart center, thigh bones back, tailbone into your body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down into an imaginary chair. Now imagine your thigh bones are going back, which means now they're going into the direction of the floor. Stick your bum out just a little bit and then draw your belly in. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, arms alongside you. Keep your hips down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms alongside you. Once more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach your arms up, thigh bones back, tailbone in. Exhale, hands through heart center and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into downward facing dog, knees bent generously, thigh bones back. Inhale, forward into high plank, left and right thigh evenly lifting to the sky. Exhale, back into a three-legged dog, left leg extends. Flex your toes towards your face. Lift the inner lining of your leg. Inhale, forward, high plank. Now you're welcome to drop your right knee. Exhale, back into a three-legged dog. Inhale, forward, high plank. Exhale, back, three-legged dog. Hold here for a breath in. Exhale, step your foot forward between your hands. Back inner thigh firms up. So this is your right thigh now. Inhale, breathe. Your fingers can be onto a block for a few moments. And they can stay here. Inhale, extend your arms behind you. Squeeze your shoulders and interlace your hands. Slowly peel your torso away from your thigh. Arms extending down. Knuckles reaching towards the ground. And back thigh lifting up. One more breath. Inhale, hands release, find your blocks, place them to the top of your mat, float your back leg up. Flex your toes towards your face. Breathe in and out. Now once more, if your leg is sinking, find the strength of the inner lining of your thigh as though a string is pulling your inner thigh up, not your hip, just your thigh. Breathe in and out. Good, release your right foot alongside your left foot and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, your hands to your heart center and alongside your waist. Hands to your hips. Inhale, bend your knees and step back with your right foot. Now go about three feet behind and then take space between your left and your right foot and drop your right toes to 45 degrees. Right heel is heavy on the ground. Inhale, bend into your front leg. Now imagine someone is taking your back thigh and spinning the skin, the flesh of your thigh inwards. Inner spiral, take your thigh back. And then inhale, extend your arms up to the sky. Anchor through the outer edge of your back foot. Pull your belly and reach your heart forward. Breathe in and out. One more breath. Inhale, return your hands towards the ground, maybe find blocks, place them alongside your front heel, keep your back inner thigh lifting up so there's a sense that you're blossoming your buttocks slightly behind you. Now pull your belly in and straighten your front leg. Inhale, pyramid pose. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in and breathe out. Anchor through the big toe mound of both feet and equally anchor through the outer heel of both feet. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, bend into your front leg. Step your back foot to the top of your mat and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, reach to the sky. Five on five. Inhale, in, belly strong. Exhale, hands to waist distance. And place your hands to your waist and your left toe back. About three feet. Back toes at a 45 degree angle. Back heel heavy. Square your hips forward. Now firm your back inner thigh. Lunge into your front leg. And inhale, reach your arms up. Belly strong. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale. Three more breaths. Make sure that your tailbone is pulling into your body so that you're not getting too much of a curve in your back, which might tweak your low back. One more breath. Inhale, hands find the ground or your blocks. Straighten your front leg. Continue to send your inner left thigh back, so you're spiraling backwards. And that's gonna create a sense of openness through the base of your pelvis. Now pull your belly in, lift your spine for a breath in halfway, and exhale, keep your front leg strong, your back leg strong, and melt your torso to the earth. Three deep breaths. thigh bone on your back leg is going back as much as it can. Usually the back leg needs a little bit more of inner spiral or thighs back. Now inhale, plant your hands, bend your front knee and step back into downward dog with knees bent. With your knees bent, take your thigh bones back, breathe in and out. Keep your belly strong. Inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands and drop your right heel. Place your front forearm to your front thigh, top hand to your waist. And now lean forward as though you want to reach your torso towards the ground. As you do that, try to send your right thigh back even more. I'm going to cue you the counter of that is to draw your left glute, your left hip into your body, but keep your right thigh back. You can place your hand on your right thigh to maintain your thigh back. Inhale. Exhale, extend your right arm overhead, side angle, Parsvakonasana, stretch through your fingers and breathe. Feel the lengthening from your pelvis down through the outer edge of your back foot and all the way through your side body, in out through your fingertips. One more breath. Keep your awareness on your right thigh through your transition. Inhale, come into warrior two, arms reach to the front and to the back. Keep your right thigh back, drop your back hand, and inhale, float your left arm up and over. Inhale, back to warrior two. Keep your right thigh where it is. Just straighten your left leg. Right thigh stays right where it is. Reach forward with your left fingertips, perhaps fingertips to a block, right arm up to the sky, Trikonasana. Breathe in. And out, right thigh stays strong. Left glute hugs into your body. One more breath. Inhale, gaze down. Bend your front knee. Come all the way up to stand. Hands to your waist. Turn both sets of toes to face the side of your mat. Inhale, wide-legged forward fold. Exhale, bend your knees. Begin to draw your thigh bones back. So think of your inner thighs stretching back and back. And that's initiating the action of your torso melting. Relax your hands. Inhale. Exhale, feel the outer edges of your feet evenly rooted down to the inner edges of your feet. If you find yourself sinking the weight into your heels, walk yourself forward slightly so the weight is balanced. And then imagine with bent knees that your inner thighs are spiraling back behind you. Maintain that as you draw your belly in and melt your torso down to the earth for three more breaths. Good, inhale, walk yourself back up, reach for a block, place it to the outside of your right foot and turn your right toes to face the end of your mat. Left toes are now parallel to the back edge of, the, of your mat and you're in a front heel to back arch alignment. If you were to draw a line, it would intercept. Inhale, your right forearm to your right thigh, left hand to your waist. Now squeeze your legs towards each other and now bow forward. And as you bow forward, your left thigh bone goes back, way back and you're creating this spaciousness through the base of your pelvis. 
maintain that, begin to squeeze your right glute into your body. So as though this Ferris wheel is rolling forward, 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 and that's slowly going to open up through your torso. Inhale, extend your left arm overhead, stretch through your fingertips. Beautiful, breathe in and out. Two more breaths, squeeze your legs towards each other, keep your left thigh back, inhale and exhale. Maintain your legs exactly as they are so nothing changes from your waist down. Inhale, windmill your arms up into warrior two. Keep your left thigh back, drop your back hand, flip your front arm, reverse, reach up and over. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, reach your right fingertips forward, either to your block or to the ground. Keep your left thigh bone back, extend your left arm to the sky. Continue to squeeze your right glute into your body. Reach your fingers tall. Inhale and exhale. Feel the energy drawing into the core of your pelvis. So much strength. And then from the core of your pelvis, reach out through your crown, your feet, your fingers, lengthening, growing. One more breath. Inhale, gaze down. Remove your block out of the way. And come all the way up to stand. Heel toe your feet towards each other. You're now facing the side of your mat for a moment. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and begin to sit down. And as you sit down, come right onto your bottom. Remove the flesh from the back of your hips. And if you find that that still makes your back curve out, creating a kyphosis or a dumping into your back, please roll your mat out. So you might roll the edge of the mat or the top of the mat and then sit on the mat and roll your pelvis slightly forward. Feet are flexed up towards the sky. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, place your hands. You can place them to your knees or the upper shins, your ankles or to your feet. And then pull your shoulders back, pull your legs into your body, Keep your, your pelvis tilting backwards, so tilting forwards actually, so that you're broadening through the base of your pelvis. And then take five deep breaths. Your inner thighs are heavy on the ground, so thighs back means the thighs are now going down to the ground. Your pelvis is blossoming behind you, creating a bit of a curve in your low back, and then pull your belly just a tiny bit in to support your low back health. One more breath. Inhale, slowly make your way up. Exhale, unroll your mat. And roll down onto your back. Place the soles of your feet on your mat for a moment and then tilt your pelvis such that you create a big curve in your low back like a little hamster tunnel. So you're tilting your pelvis forward and that creates the tunnel. Place your hand at your low back and then pull your belly down onto your hand. So you haven't changed the connection of the tip of your pelvis or your tailbone on the ground. It's still heavy but now you're pulling your belly in slightly. Inhale, place your left ankle across your right thigh. Pull your left knee up, but don't lift your tailbone. Keep your belly drawing in just enough that you're reducing the curve and reach your hand for the back of your hamstring or the tops of your shin bone. Flex your left toes, pull your knee in towards your shoulders, breathe in and out. One more breath. You can stay just like this or release your left hand. Place your left hand on your left ankle. Squeeze the flesh of your left ankle. Begin to pull the flesh of your left ankle towards your knee. And then your elbow might give a little bit of pressure to open up your knee away from you. Your right thigh might come closer. Keep your tailbone heavy. One more breath. Release your left leg all the way across your right leg. So now your legs are crisscrossed. 
open up your arms and guide your knees to your left. Gaze can turn, guide your knees, my apologies, to your right and gaze can turn to your left. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. Every breath allows you to discharge just a little bit more. Breathe in and out. Tone your belly slightly, inhale, come back to center. Unravel your legs, place your feet back on the ground. Tilt your pelvis forward, feel like your hips are heavy on the ground, thigh bones are plugging into your pelvis. You've created the curve in your low back. Maintain your thigh bones and your pelvis as they are. Just begin to pull your belly down. It's gonna just flatten your low back slightly. And find your threading the needle on the other side without shifting your pelvis. Place your right ankle across your left thigh reach for the back of your left hamstring or your left shin bone and then pull your leg in towards your torso without lifting your hips at all breathe in flex your right toes breathe out notice if anything has shifted in your body has anything shifted in your emotional awareness in your nervous system You can stay as you are or release your right hand and place your right hand onto your right ankle. Squeeze the flesh of your ankle without moving your ankle and your thigh. Keep them connected, but begin to pull the flesh of your ankle towards your knee. Breathe in and out. Tailbone is still heavy. One more breath. Cross your right leg right over your left leg. Open up your arms into a T. Knees fall to your left. Gaze to your right. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. Slowly come back to center. Unravel your legs. Pull your knees into your torso. Lengthen your tailbone down. Find your little hamster tunnel behind your back and then pull your belly in. Then bring your knees in only so much that you can maintain that current alignment of your pelvis. Slowly rock from side to side. And then release the soles of your feet together. Knees open wide. For a moment, remove the flesh from the back of your hips. Rest your hands, right hand to your belly, left hand to your upper energetic heart chakra. It's the space right between your collarbones and moving down between your lungs. Breathe in. And out. Welcome this moment to feel your breath. Maybe take a moment to acknowledge anyone whose service today allows you to be wherever you are to practice. You're welcome to stay just as you are or extend your legs, rest your arms, palms to the sky, Shavasana. Feel your body softening into your mat. Rest into this moment of stillness and quietness. Drop in and let go.
slowly bring your awareness back into your body. Feel the beautiful presence of your heart. Begin to track your breath. And take a deep inhale through your nose. Reach your arms overhead and your legs in the opposite direction. Exhale, HA through your mouth. Find your way to one side, holding and resting here for a moment or two. And please transition to a seated posture. Once you come to your seat, remove the flesh from the back of your hips so you're broadening through the base of your, health, your pelvis. Thighs are heavy, hands to your heart center and bow to your heart. Once more, giving thanks to all those who are working for us today. And may we send blessings and love and healing and hope to anyone who's fallen ill or who's lost a loved one. May we hold them deeply in our prayers. The light in me acknowledges and bows to the light within each of you. Thank you for joining me on your mats today. Namaste.